Hello, this is Paul Cheney from Spartan Design University with the workflow solution for the Insta360 camera and Zoom H3 microphone. In this tutorial, I will demonstrate how to use the Insta360 Pro 2 camera to capture 360 video with the Zoom H3 VR mic to capture spatial audio. We will then publish the results to YouTube so you can view it in a web browser or an Oculus headset using the YouTube VR app for Oculus Quest. First, we'll review the equipment I will be using. Next, we'll set up and connect everything together. Then we'll go into the menus and adjust the camera and mic settings. Then record a sample video and stitch the results. Finally, we'll publish the results to YouTube. You're on your own to experience the end result in your browser or headset. As a side note, I will be using the Orange Monkey Foldio Studio Light Tent for my product shots. They have a great lineup of tents and turntables. I'll add a link in the description just in case you're interested. Let's begin with the equipment we'll be using. Unpack your Insta360 Pro 2 camera and keep the rubber band over the lenses at all times, just in case you tip it over or intentionally lay it on its side. The Zoom Spatial Audio mic has four mics pointed in multiple directions to capture spatial audio. It comes with a windsock, which I keep on the mic at all times, a double-headed one-quarter inch screw, and then I went to the hardware store and bought a quarter inch soft rubber washer, which I will use to align the camera and mic correctly. More about this later. I also use a Bogan tripod with a ball head. The ball head is important for the nadar or downshot of the 360 camera. In addition, you should consider getting a 6 inch USB to micro USB cable to connect the mic. A longer cable has to be wound around and it may get in your shot or cover your screen interface. Well, that does it for the equipment. Now let's connect it all together. Both the camera and mic have a forward direction, sometimes called north. On the 360 camera, this is the camera lens just left of the display. On the mic, this point is the opposite side of the display screen. I have marked both of these with a gold pen. If you put your mic on the camera and then snug it down, the north marks are misaligned. If you loosen it to get them aligned, then they're wobbly and do not stay in place, which would result in misaligned audio. Add the rubber washer you bought from the hardware store on the top or bottom of the quarter inch double screw. Remember, it has to be soft rubber. Once you add the rubber washer, then you can tighten and align the mic and camera so the north lens aligns with the mic north, and it will be snug. Now you should connect the USB on the camera to the micro USB on the zoom. Now that the equipment is set up, let's get into the settings and the phone app. Turn on the power for the zoom mic by sliding the power switch sideways. Press Home and then Menu. Choose Input Output and press Play to select it. Press Play to select Low Cut and choose 80 Hz from the menu list. This will remove low rumble and wind noises. Press Home and then Menu. Choose Input Output, then Limiter from the menu, then choose On Off to make sure it's on. This will clamp down on sudden loud noises so they do not distort. Press Home and then Menu. Choose Mic Position and set it to Automatic. This would ensure that even if you had your microphone upside down, it would correctly record spatial sound. Press Home and then Menu. Choose Record Settings and then choose Mode and MBX. This is the best for spatial audio for our YouTube video example. Press Home and then Menu again. Choose USB and then Audio IF and then 4-channel ambisonics and press play. This will feed a 4-channel recording through the USB cable back to the Insta360 camera. Now let's record something really exciting. Download the Insta360 Pro 2 controller from Apple or Google Play Store. While you're waiting for the app to download to your phone, it would be a good time to ensure that you have all seven, yes, I said seven, memory cards inserted into the camera. These are the ones that I use. There are three micro SD slots over here named 1, 2, and 3. There's also three more on the other side named 4, 5, and 6. 
and also don't forget the SD card slot under the battery. By the way, this card below the battery is really hard to remove because the battery door doesn't open far enough. I have suggested that they redesign it and we'll have to wait for the Pro 3 to come out and see if they listened or not. Power up the camera using this round button. Once it starts up, you'll see an IP number showing in the top of the display. Notice also the battery charge percent over here. The camera does have controls, but this screen is so tiny that we'll use our phone instead and connect to the camera over Wi-Fi. Open the settings on your phone and choose the Insta360 camera from your Wi-Fi network list. It should now appear as the Wi-Fi connection for your phone. Open the app on your mobile device and make sure you're close to the camera. Enter the IP number of the camera and click connect. You'll only have to enter the IP number the first time. Choose device settings and then audio type. Ensure that you have spatial audio selected so the four channel sound coming from the zoom mic will record correctly. Click the back arrow. Now it's time to record a video. You should be able to see the flattened panoramic image in the preview window. If you touch the preview, then this will show you the source of the sound. You should see either built-in mic or USB mic. If you're not seeing USB, then make sure the mic's on and the USB settings are correct. Remember, we covered this earlier in the video. Also, I have had to unplug and replug the USB cable to get the USB mic to show up. Not sure why. Do not move on until you see USB as the input. Now you can press record and capture the moment. Press record again to stop the recording. Once your recording is done, you can click the power plug here and actually power off the camera from your phone. Wow, that's a lot to cover, but now the fun begins. First, you should copy the latest folder from the larger SD card onto your hard drive. These are numbered sequentially, so the last recording is at the bottom. To make this next step faster, I have purchased three card readers, so I can copy three of the micro SD cards at once. Copy the origin underscore file from each card to the master folder already on your hard drive. The last several digits of the folder will exactly match, so you know you've got the correct files. Repeat this for cards 4, 5, and 6. I numbered each card, so I could get it back in the same slot. When you're done copying your files, you'll have all the original content of the folder from your SD card plus six additional origin files, one from each micro SD card. If you're missing any of them, the stitcher is not going to work. You need to also download the free Insta360 Stitcher software package for Macintosh or Windows. Drag and drop the folder with all of your files in this area here. Even though the camera is capable of creating an 8K image, I'm going to downsample this example to 4K under the Resolution tab. Now click Stitch at the bottom of the window and wait. This might be a good time to go get a snack. These things can take a while. Once the video has been processed, you should upload it to your YouTube channel. Once the video finishes processing, you'll see this white icon in the corner, indicating that it is a 360 panoramic video, and the user can drag around to see the entire room. Well, that does it. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. In my example videos, I share a couple more tips about using the Insta360 Pro camera and the Zoom mic together. There's a link here in the description. Look for one of the problems I encountered with one of the two antennas on the 360 camera.